Hello. The boss is here. Hello, how are you? Hello, Mr. Hello, how are you? Tino joins us. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Like, uh, Mr. Yes. I was just saying to Joe, is this a fixture he always looked out for? Does, does a West London derby at home feel like the, the perfect opportunity for you to respond to your setback in midweek? Yeah, we talk about the Premier League. Okay, uh, can be our third consecutive game, no winning. Uh, we know that we are going to face a very good uh, side like Liver uh, like uh, Fulham that was playing really well against Liverpool. And of course, it's going to be tough. We need to deserve to win. We need to perform. And of course, after uh, thinking, you know, uh, on the defeat of Middlesbrough, very disappointed. But we need to change the, the mentality. And today, the approach of the game is going to be different because it's different competition. And there's a setback for Nkunku, but but a boost as well with Carney Chukwemenkwa, uh, Ben Wabadi Ashil on the bench, and Ben Chilwell as well. So some positive news. Yeah, positive news that they can be involved already now in the on the squad make uh, more competitive the, the squad and yes they can help maybe during the second half uh, you know to uh, to win the game that is the objective you know the three point to get the three point Brozier looked really sharp in training yesterday but watch he's come in he didn't play against Middlesbrough what, what, what do you want to see from him today no I think uh, he needs to be consistent in his uh, way to perform um, in the way that he need to approach the game, I think uh, the problem was the last game against Middlesbrough. He cannot cope still with three games in in only one week. Um, we need to manage. I think we need to manage because after one year injured, I think always it's tough for a for a player uh, for his characteristics and and of course uh, for me, Brocha is a fantastic player with a great potential. But now he's about to be consistent and find, you know, his place on the pitch, uh, feeling well. Uh, find a way to perform and be consistent and not to rush in some decision. Uh, he needs to, to know that we trust, really trust on him uh, and for all the strikers always need to feel the confidence and, and feel that he is uh, number one and he needs to build his confidence through the, through the games. Yeah. What's the thought process today and the, uh, the, what you're expecting from Fulham and where are the areas you can exploit them today? Oh, I think Fulham is a, is a team that plays really well, um, very consistent. Uh, he's performing really well in the last uh, the last uh, month. Uh, great result against uh, Arsenal. I know it's really complicated because they have very good uh, players. They have a very good mix in between young and, and experienced player with a great quality, great coach, and and of course it's going to be tough. Uh, uh, we need to. We are aware about uh, what we are going to find today. We hope that we can compete in the way that we we plan to compete. Yeah, we we we've, sorry, Linz. We've got a young team at Chelsea and it's developing and learning. How much is it important that, that there's this patience with, with, the, with, with the fans and everyone? Because you can see the improvements in games and then there's a little bit backwards, but we're going in the right direction. Right? Well, look, I think the, the team is, is not consistent uh, like uh, all the environment because we came from a very good run. I think we were the third or the fourth best side in the Christmas period. Yeah. And on the end, uh, we lose the, fir the, the first leg in, in Middlebrad because that is possible, it's cap, and you know very well that the situation, many uh, big teams, big side, lose against uh, Middlebrad in the last few years, um, and we have the second leg. But it's like uh, we are inconsistent also, OK, we need to, you know, uh, looks like the, the end of the world, but uh, we are in a process that we need to be patient. Yes or yes, because that is the profile of the squad and we need to understand that. If we understand that, maybe we progress uh, more uh, fast. Yeah. But if not, it's going to, okay, it's, uh, stuck in the fighting in different mm. things that maybe not help the team to progress. Maurizio, we'll let you go. To yes, thank you very operation. much because thank it's cold, but uh, <laughs> it I feel sorry for you, but <laughs> <laughs> come on, thank keep going. Thank you for coming out to join us. Thank you.